thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to work in my My Favorite Things art journal and the prompt for this page is what is your favorite artist? Who inspires you? Um, is it Monet, Van Gogh, uh, maybe Frida, Kahlo? There are so many different artists that inspire us. Um, maybe it's somebody current that you follow on YouTube like uh, Jane Davenport or Tamara Lepore or another artist. There's so many artists. So I thought this would be a fun page to um, depict in our books who inspires you, who is your favorite artist. And my favorite artist is Gustav Klimt. I have a reference book on Klimt and I love this um, this painting that he did it is the tree of life my other favorite of course is the kiss that's the most famous and what I want to do on my page is to uh, duplicate the background so in his painting he uses a lot of uh, shapes and colors and so I'm gonna put this down as my reference and then I'm gonna duplicate the shapes on this side on this side and this side to try to fill the whole page with those types of colors and patterns. I just thought it'd be a fun little challenge. And then I have information about him and about this painting that I am going to add to the page and of course my words um, that this is my favorite artist. And then I think I may also try to uh, duplicate the tree of life just in my own, uh, just as inspiration in my own style on this side of the page. So let's get started. This is going to be fun. I'm starting with the backgrounds and so uh, what I'm doing is just trying to duplicate the colors in the backgrounds. On both of these, um, the background is kind of a yellow ochre and so I'm using a little mixture of um, Naples yellow, yellow oxide, and raw sienna and I'm just going to put a little bit on and then spread it around with a baby wipe to just um, make that cool muted background. Now I'm going to go ahead and sketch on my tree of life on the left side. Next I'm going to apply my image of uh, the painting of the kiss and I'm going to use um, matte gel medium. I like tri art the best. And I'm just going to put my image down and then let it dry.
Now I'm just using things like um, Prismacolor Premier Markers. They're an alcohol ink and Posca pens and uh, Faber-Castell pit markers to kind of copy and mimic the patterns that are over here and just put them over here. And it's just my interpretation just for fun in my art journal. So um, it's going to just kind of look like this. And it's just fun to play around with that kind of style of artwork. that about how I want it to be and now I'm going to uh, just use art glitter glue to put down the um, information about the painting the kiss. Now I'm going to use a Prisma marker to go around each of those pieces that I've put down and just kind of give them a bit of a frame. I mean I want to leave them white but this will at least make them more a part of the layout. You know, like make them blend in with the layout better. If you're familiar with Gustav Klimt, um, almost all of his paintings had gold on them. So I'm going to use some. Um, this is this is like called gold leaf, and you buy it in sheets. And I'm just going to go through here and take a glue stick and put a little glue down, and rub it out with my finger, just making it tacky in a few places, and then. What you do is just lay this down, rub over it, and lift it off, and you end up with gold. And that's exactly what he had on a lot of his paintings. So I'm going to do that in a few spots on this because I really want to have that gold on here. I love it. Look. Oh, looks just like how his paintings look. I absolutely love it with the gold paint. I mean the gold leaf on there. Look at that just brought it to life. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It totally embodies his artwork. My artwork doesn't look like his. I played with it, tried to get it as best as possible. You know, it is different. You can tell the difference between mine, obviously. But it still was fun to play around and have some try some different techniques. I loved making the patterns from here over here. Um, just It was just lots of fun. Now I'm going to use my Snap Together stamp letters. And I'm going to do the words, uh, my favorite artist. And I'm going to use black. I've got black all through it, so I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to use black archival ink by Ranger. And these letterings, these stamps are awesome because they obviously snap together. And you can't make a mistake in stamping your word, which is great.
I'm going to take um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and I'm going to go around the edges. I like to have kind of a, a border kind of look and have it just close it in, tie it in. Just, and this color kind of goes with the tree. So that's just going to finish off those edges nicely. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and that it inspired you to do something on one of the pages in your My Favorite Things art journal to convey who your favorite artist is. And maybe try to duplicate their style like I did here um, with Gustav Klimt. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. We're getting close. Our book is getting thinner at the end. There's going to be only this many my favorite things left to go. We've done a lot in our book. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed seeing the posts from people that are working on the project and if you aren't in the Facebook group feel free to join and if you um, are just doing it on your own leave a message below in the comment section and tell me that you're playing along and let me know if you're enjoying it and what what ideas you might have for maybe a couple more my favorite things um, I have some more ideas, but I'm always open to suggestions, so leave me a comment. Hope you had fun, and until next time, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art. Go make art, because art soothes the heart.